What's up? It's Jeb Joy Mutai here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share tips and expert advice on freelance media tech and business. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a business card using Microsoft Publisher. Unlike AI tools which limits you from printing the business card that you've designed unless you subscribe to their software or AI tool, with Microsoft Publisher, you can customize already designed card and print it in the size that you desire. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Stay tuned. Looking for professional screencast video production services? Request a free quote on www.techtubestudio.com. If you are new on this channel, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, take time to visit my website on cheption.com to learn more. Now, let's get right into today's video. To get started designing your business card using Microsoft Publisher, open Microsoft Publisher on your computer. Once it has opened, click on New. On the screen here, click on Cards. You'll be taken to the screen here where you can now type in here on top on the search bar business card then enter these are the custom business cards that are available on microsoft publisher that are already designed and you can customize them for yourself pick one of these and customize it to suit your needs so i'll pick one of them here on business cards here and then click on create I'll be taken to the screen here whereby I can now customize and add my address here, name of the company, uh, my name and my comp or my title in the company, then also upload a logo of my company here. To upload a logo, for example, here, you can click on right click and then change picture and you'll be able to upload your company logo from your computer here alternatively i can delete this logo here and then now insert my own logo as i need for example here so as you can see this is my logo i'll now resize it to the position where i want and as you can see i've scaled it to the uh to the size that i want for this video i can add other things by typing in here my phone number for example it's plus 254 then i can type other numbers as i want here and then website here i can type in cheptiony.com and once i'm done with this all this uh information that i require in my business card now i can customize the colors to fit my needs to customize the colors click on uh, the business card then click on page design then you can choose one of the colors here uh, to suit your needs so my colors are blue so when i pick this floor you can see it uh, basically it matches the needs and i can change this to white for the text i'll go to home then change the text color to white as you can see here then i can type the name of my company here then change other things as i need so this as you can see is the business card that i've designed so once you're done doing the color parts the text information you've made sure that the text that you've typed in the card are correct there are other things that you can make adjustments on the first one is the size of your card to make adjustments on the size that you want your card to be click on size here on top from here you can choose from the existing custom sizes or come to uh, create new page size from here you can see the number of cards that you can uh, that you'll be able to print on the current page or card size you can see we can print 10 of them you can make adjustments by clicking on width and height and changing it to the size that you want also the target paper size you can choose a different paper if you intend to print it on a different paper once you're done click ok other things that you can change again is the orientation of the paper 
do you want to print the paper or do you want to align this card on a portrait paper or a landscape paper you can choose from here but currently we are we are we are on a landscape other things that you can change as well is the margins the size of the margins the margins are the size of the space that will be left between the cards on the paper so you can choose the one that you you desire for yourself once you're done with all the designs you've made sure that all the information are correctly done go to file go to file and click on print here is your card design as it looks on an a4 paper the a4 paper will print 10 of your cards where you can cut it down and put it on your wallet alternative also you can print it offline on a file or you can print it directly on a printer if you have a printer at home so make sure you save your file for future reference and that is it on how to design a business card using microsoft publisher i hope you found this video helpful to you let me know your thoughts in the comments section below here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this youtube channel also take time to visit my website on cheption.com to learn more up until next time bye bye and take care my name is cheption mutai